Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to deal with the long shipping times that you always get with AliExpress. So Amazon has really made it tough for everybody because they're so freaking good at what they do that everybody now expects to get like two to five day shipping. And if it's longer than that, then it just seems like a ridiculously long time and they start emailing the heck out of you asking where their product is. So although we can't deal with the long shipping time that AliExpress has because you know sometimes it's up to a month, which sucks, there are things that we can do to eliminate most of the um, the customer complaints or customer uh, you know inquiries about the shipping time. So that's what we're going to jump into on this video. But before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like, let me know that you like this content and you want me to continue producing it on a daily basis because we're already doing it on a daily basis and y'all are digging it and loving it and I'm loving doing it as well. So hopefully you are as well. Also lastly, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop a video, which again is every single day. So why would you not want to subscribe, hit the notification bell and like, let's jump in. Okay guys, so how to deal with long shipping times. There's basically three things that I do. Um, first of all is that you want to have, uh, let's see if this works, <clears throat> okay. Um, always always use e-packet shipping, which you probably heard, um, that's not like a new thing, um, but still you wanna use e-packet shipping. Why? Because it's usually like 12 to 20 days as opposed to like a month or longer. So how do you actually go ahead and set that up? Well. Let's just assume that we're buying like one of these phone cases and you've already imported it through Overlow, all that kind of stuff. You basically just come to this page, right? The page that you actually have to order on. So what you're gonna do is just come up here where it's, uh, these are all the shipping settings. And we're just gonna switch this over to ePacket, which is right down here. Now, I do wanna state that ePacket is not always the best. Sometimes there are cheaper, faster options. Um, like especially when I'm shipping to Spain, a lot of times I realize that cheaper, faster options are actually not ePacket for some reason. Um, but yeah, essentially in most cases it will be. So we're just gonna hit okay. Make sure you hit okay or else it's not gonna change. And then um, here we're just, just gonna, I'm gonna copy and paste it, but essentially you're gonna write, hey, this is a drop shipping item. Please don't include any receipts or marketing materials in the package, thanks. Um, basically this will tell them not to include any receipts, marketing material, because you don't wanna send the product out to somebody and then they just get like tons of, you know, blasted with tons of ads from like some random Chinese company. So um, yeah, that's basically what I do, and then hit confirm and pay, and then you're you're good to go. So that's how you set up e-packet shipping. Now, number two is that uh, you want to be uh, be honest with the customer, okay? And what do I mean by this? Basically, there's two ways that you can be honest with them. Uh, number one is you want to be very honest on the product page, okay? You want to tell them straight up on the product page, uh, say something like due to um, High demand shipping may take up to two to four weeks in extreme cases. I usually like to put extreme cases just so you know, um, just so it seems like more of a rarity. But extreme cases, um, yeah. So basically, that's that's all you have to write. Uh, you could expand on it a little bit if you want, but basically, just do it as as like an asterisk, like that little star thing. Um, I usually put that right before like the end of the product description, just so it's in there, people can see it, people know that it's there, and if they ever like complain and say, why is this taking so long, say, hey, it was in the product description, right? So uh, you're gonna put this in the dis uh, product description, and you're also gonna put it in the welcome email, the, the email that people get once they order. Um, you're gonna lay out certain things to expect, obviously welcome them, thank you, um, but in addition to that, say like, hey, it's gonna take uh, you know, two to four weeks to, to ship. Um, and also let them know that once it ships out, they're gonna get a tracking number in an email, which they should get. Um, you should be automatically set up to do that, but they're gonna receive a tracking number in an email that they can actually track on the website, which leads me to number three is um, always use tracking, okay? And a lot of people don't know how to set up tracking or like newbies don't even use tracking. They don't know how to use it. Um, so I'm gonna show you right now how I actually use it, uh, which you, uh, I think is the only way. There might be other ways to do it, I'm not sure, but it's what I do. So um, whenever you're tracking, you're gonna use this, this app, it's called Aftership. And it's actually free for the first 100 shipments per month. After that, uh, it costs a certain amount. I don't, I'm not sure exactly, it kind of ranges. Um, I'm not on the free plan anymore, but you have up to 100 orders uh, per month before you have to like upgrade. So um, especially if you're starting out, it's great. 
So basically just install this. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out, but install this on your website. And then it's pretty easy to set up. It's pretty self-explanatory. So essentially what it's going to do is give you an order page or a uh, tracking page similar to this where a person can just like copy and paste the tracking code from their email into this and, and go ahead and track it. And uh, yeah, so these three tips are hopefully going to eliminate about 90% of the customer inquiries that you get and the customer complaints. Um, they're not going to eliminate all of them. I still get, you know, a few emails a week about where is my shipping and it's kind of annoying dealing with the customer service and everything. But these will eliminate most of them and they, they should help you out and also put the customer at ease, which is the most important part, right? So hopefully these tips were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out a ton. Also leave a like if you like the material, if you want me to continue making it on a daily basis and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop a video. Lastly, if you have any uh, you know, comments or questions or anything about uh, you know, things that you wanna learn or things that you're struggling with, I'm always trying to help you guys out. So leave a comment in the uh, you know, comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with, what you want me to make videos on. Or if you have something more personal in nature, more uh, something that uh, is more personal to your website, then you can go ahead and hit me up on the DMs at Nash Hagen. And I usually like to respond to you guys within a few hours. Um, at least I'm always trying to respond to you guys as quick as possible because I'm trying to help everybody get to at least $100 a day. Totally doable. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Um, if you need any help, just let me know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning.